We begin tonight with a follow up to a story we've been covering all week. A deadly shooting Tuesday night that rocked the downtown Springfield community. Three suspects have been arrested and charged and today the victim's family reopened their restaurant at Jefferson Avenue and Walnut Street downtown. Color 10's Parker Paget is live outside Lucky Time Restaurant where hearts have been drawn on the sidewalk and there's been a steady stream of customers throughout the day. Yeah, days after Chavez went and his girlfriend were shot, he was killed. She was seriously injured in that drive by shooting. His family reopened their restaurant to a wave of support from people in this area. Chia Wynn knew today would not be easy. We have those condos. To his surprise, a wave of friends and strangers showing up to support him. It's been uh, a lot busier than uh, before, the normal day. Um, because all this community come together and help us and support us. And uh, we, I want to say thank you to the media, to the police department that did the job. I mean, it's a, it's a little bit of comfort, but it's not completely because all the people that involved in my son's death, it's not been captured. So I wanted, you know, they all capture and bring them all to justice. Three people have been charged in Chavez Wynn's death, an adult and two juveniles. Chia says this difficult week has also shown him a good side of the community. When a time like this, I see uh, the community come together. I'm like so proud of Springfield community. I'm so happy that uh, they, we can come together as a one family. Some of that support coming from the Downtown Springfield Association. When we have uh, things like this happen, uh, we're concerned about our neighbors and, and so we it wasn't much, but we, we bought a, a plant and, and wanted to uh, share that with the family um, that just let them know that we're thinking of them and we grieve with them during this time. We checked in with Lucky Time around lunchtime, where it was often standing room only. It was out the door at one point when I got there and just seeing the restaurant so full and packed, it's the busiest I've ever seen it. So I'm really glad to see the community rallying around this family to help them and to let them know they are not alone through this grief. Chia says today has left him feeling thankful. It's very warming. Um, I, I couldn't believe that, you know, I have this, all these people that support our family. Yeah, Lucky Time was scheduled to close at 8, but they've actually been turning people away. We found out that they're closing early because they have run out of food. And for our viewers, there's a sign on the door that says starting December 5th, they'll be closed for two months to take care of an elderly family member overseas. Now, you can read previous coverage of that case with our story online at OzarksFirst.com. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Padgett, Color 10 News.